Farmers and artisans in Nigeria mobilizing support for themselves to raise 10 billion naira to support their businesses and farms. The group champion in the cause in Abuja has called on farmers and those in the informal sector to key into the movement as an opportunity to grow their businesses. Our correspondent Helena Samari Aikens has more. A report by the World Poverty Clock in 2018 shows Nigeria has overtaken India as the country with the most extreme poor people in the world. Based on the latest United Nations estimates, Nigeria's population is 200,636,214, which is equivalent to 2.6% of the total world's population. The country faces a major population explosion and having a large number of its citizens still living in extreme poverty is major worry. Economists believe that the way out for the country is to empower the informal sector and diversify the economy. Farmers form a large part of the informal sector. Husseini Raha is a rice farmer in Kirby State. He has been in the business of farming for over a decade. He says financing has been a major obstacle in his efforts to expand his business. I've been into farming for the past 25 years. I own a farm, about uh, 200 hectares of land. So our challenges are many. Some are access to finance. That is capital, how you can get uh, capital to develop your farm. Uh, second, uh, how you can assess, assess uh, right quality fertilizer, right qu quality and quantity at the right time. You, uh, the government sometimes they do bring fertilizer, not but not at the right time, and sometimes not the right quality, because you have to do a soil test to know the right type of fertilizer which you need. Then the second. We need extension uh, services, extension workers to educate our people, to feed us with the latest uh, development of technology researches. Uh, we are far, far, uh, um, we don't have access to the research institutions and uh, so that we can be able to get what is the latest uh, uh, a research on agriculture. Oh, yes. Yes. Almost uh, 20 years. Yes. Yes, and so up to today now, we are still need the financial problem because we cannot continue in one place as an artisan. We have to be doing this and doing that. That's why we are running one place to the other to have the help. Is it that the government is not assisting in any way? It is why groups like these, made up of artisans and farmers, are extremely important at this time. This group is collaborating with the cooperative society to raise funds to grow the business of its members. It believes that, given its large following, it can help members without necessarily waiting for government support. Once we are able to raise the first tranche of money, we want to be able to empower our members without going to, through the bureaucratic relatives that has always made it impossible for ordinary farmers to have access to funding. Now look at it this way. How can you tell a farmer that is barely struggling to buy fertilizer to go and give you collateral? to collateralize the loan from a commercial bank. Government agencies across this country must begin to understand that, look, you must get to that level that Kiaki has gotten to, where they can use your credibility without money, without uh, properties, to do one thing, and one thing alone, give you the support that you need. This platform is creating that opportunity for both the farmers, both the artisans, and all of us in Asvan to be able to raise the support that the informal sector needs to grow that sector. For an organization that has 11 million to 6,000 members, I think it's something that uh, no, no, no government can play with it. And we as an organization, we have, we have what it takes. So we are officially launching this an empowerment program that we intend in sourcing out this 10 billion naira within ourselves because we have what it takes to make this happen. With many farmers and artisans exploring this means to generate finance to grow their business, more people may be able to beat the poverty trap. As the population of the country continues to grow, so also the call to diversify the economy has continued to be on the increase. But this group believes that the government can only diversify the economy by empowering the informal sector.
Helen Osameda Ekins, TVC News, Abuja.